Hello everybody, and welcome back to Thrones of Britannia. Now, I have somewhat recovered. Yay! And finally my voice is kind of working again. So, how about we jump straight into the next campaign. Now, during my Viking Sea Kings campaign, uh, Sudria, I did mention that I would like to play one of the English Kingdoms. Now, there's two with CX and Mirchi. Um... I've decided to play as Mirchi because I think it's the harder one. Um, oh, the CX, <laughs> it starts with a huge territory. It's basically protected from the south. There's um, constantly coming one um, invasion fleets, but it's always just one fleet until the very end. So that basically means as long as one army is patrolling down here, you have all this territory safe and can focus and go north. Also because Mircea will never fight downwards, this. basically only this is your front line if you play as West Seax. And that makes it very, very easy to play, I feel. Mircea, on the other hand, is extremely hard to play, I, I think. Um, I don't know why it said it's normal, I think it's definitely one of the harder ones. Um, I will get into the big pros and cons. Um, later <laughs> on the campaign map but basically what what's happening is that literally everything is your front um this side is your front this side is your front this side is your front in the very beginning and this side because the southern um front it does become a uh, front line later because um, there will be an event that makes west cx annex mirche and if you say no, um, this will also become frontline. So, <laughs> there's a few things to keep in mind here. Um, our campaign settings are completely normal. Um, I've not changed anything and we are playing on legendary difficulty as always. So, um, our victory objectives, like last time, we have three... Um, not three. <laughs> we have three possibilities. We we'll probably will be going for the ultimate victory. Um, last time I made a big deal out of... How I don't like the idea of the ultimate victory with the three big armies spawning, but um, honestly, I don't think it matters. It's it's not that hard. As uh, Mirchel, let's have a quick look over here. Um, we do have the fjord, fjord. I, I'm not sure how this is pronounced. Basically, we have a limited amount of units uh, of cheap units. It works like the peasants in um, for Britannia or, or Brittany in Warhammer Two. Oh, in Warhammer One, it is. Um, where you can have only a limited amount of the very cheap units, except that here the very cheap units are like two-thirds of your roster. So everything except for the amazing units, which you can't have that many of anyway because they're too expensive, um, you can't have a lot. So this is actually a big, big problem. Um, this one I don't care about. 25% to command is aura. Yeah. Plus 5 minutes skill for all units when defending. That's nice. We will be hopefully defending a little bit more. Um... This one I will have to have a look about at. I'm assuming it's like the assembly we've had. No, it's like the raids we had. Like something that comes from time to time that might give you bony or melee. Um, we'll have to see if this is a good thing. I don't know. Uh, this is nice. Strong armored sword and spear infantry. Impressive late game curry. Yeah, but in the beginning I don't use armored because it's expensive. And this also has the word late game. So we will probably have a very weak army in the beginning. And... Plus five unit moral when general is alive. Let's keep them alive then. All right, let's go in. I'm gonna shut up for the intro. A century ago, we held the reins of power. Other kingdoms bowed to our rule. Then came the Vikings. Their army divided us, and foreign kings ruled. We bent the knee for a time, but the great army has now been defeated. Our time has come again. West Saxa may claim to rule England, but it will not rule us. A great king can lead us back to glory and make our throne Britannia's greatest. These are uncertain times. You will need to stay strong and be aware of those who would take advantage of England's divisions. The Welsh, West Saxa and the Great Army will ruthlessly exploit any weakness. Myrsa's future is in your hands now. 
Prove you are worthy to hold the reins of power and unite Britannia under your banner. One of your armies is garrisoned in your capital, ready to defend it on your order. Your other army is poised to attack the rebels in the north. Eliminate the rebels, then turn your attention to your neighbors. Okay, so <laughs> I, I haven't played this yet, but I did have a quick look over it. And um, a few things struck me. If we have a look here, again, again this will eventually become a front line, but hopefully... West, uh, West Saxa it's called, not West CX, <laughs> I just learned. Um, West Saxa uh, will, at least in the beginning, be mostly um, fi fighting East Angle. So that should buy some time here. These three nations here, actually let's use the diplomatic so we see it better. These three nations here are in the defensive pact, so if I attack one of them, all of them are at war with me. This up here is a very weak, um, are two very weak countries that I would like to grab before North Umbria grabs them. These here belong to North Umbria. Uh, North Umbria and East Angle, for those that don't know, are the two big Viking kingdoms. So I don't want to fight a, a war with them just now. And for the Welsh kingdoms, Gwynedd and Powys are in a defensive alliance. Is it a... no. It's it's a full alliance. It's It's not just a defensive alliance. It's a full alliance. And um, I think Gwynedd can, uh, Gwynedd can get all the Welsh kingdoms under its command with an event. I think that that's a thing. So we need to be very careful of the east. Um, in fact, I'm actually expecting most of our trouble from the east in the beginning, just because East Angle is fighting um, West C West Saxe, <laughs> as we've just learned, and North Umbria is. Um, I think it's at war with North Leod, or it will be. Like, they, they will have their little problem, and they will have their little problem. So I expect our biggest problem in the beginning to be um, Gwynedd and Powys. With that being said, let's have a quick look around. We do have a <coughs> disloyal person. Why are they so disloyal? Ah, just kind of randomly. Um, do we have estates? Yes. Oxford. One problem solved. Now, here we have buildings, events, characters. There is nothing timed. So, I'm going to increase this and then build something that gives happiness. Um. Hmm. We have a farmer here. Oh, it's just plus that food production. Plus 20% industry. That sounds pretty sweet. That guy combined with um, the fact that there's a lot of industry here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be super lucrative. Hovice, Havis. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This will be an amazing country. Um, let's start expanding here. I will move you up. I, I will combine him Let with this army. Beware. This army obviously needs to defeat the rebel army. Um, it's, the battle's very much pitched, pitched against this. Well, that's not good. Usually the starting battles are a little bit more fair. Like, they, they tend to be exactly 50-50. Um, but it makes sense to be pitched against this because he has an Axeman more. Oh, I have a Swordman though. Oh, but I have another Archer and he has another Spearman. Um. Come on, don't give me fog. Thank you. <laughs> I can't have fog if I have... Traded arches. Yeah. Mm, yes. 
I don't know why it keeps giving me the very same tip every every single time. Okay, here we go. I will move my cavalry back, hopefully. Completely. Alright, go here. You guys go here. Let's also go here. You guys also go here. You shoot him in the back and you kill the archers real quick. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 what are you doing? Do this. Why are you guys running? I'm honestly not too sure about why this is happening. Go into the back. You could shoot him in the back, you know? Since we've <laughs> changed... I don't know why, but we've changed sides. So now you can shoot him in the back. Iron 97, I feel like I lost too many people. Thankfully, most of them are in my general scarred, which I tend to not use in battle anyway, um, <coughs> unless in cases like this. So um, I don't care too much about um, big losses on the general scarred. Um, this wasn't a big battle, but I mean, I couldn't have won this battle without the general pitching in. But I try not to use the general scarred at all. Especially since we get the plus 5 bony was as long as the general is alive. Hey, we got 500 for our treasury. Um, that's the king. So we don't need loyalty, so we'll just make him a better fighter. Um, we do have a decent gold income. I cannot recruit right now, can I? No. Okay, let's wait one turn then. This here is the weak country that I intend to take over, and this is the other weak country that I intend to take over. Um, basically, these three. Um, oh, this must be the giving... Okay, we're, we're giving 200. And we can recruit upkeep cost for all units and re increase the replenishment rate. Loyalty and money from the markets. And happiness and farm. Or we can get minus one and plus upkeep cost for basically that. I'm obviously spending it, it's just 200. Um, none of them are too good though. I don't need happiness and I don't need loyalty right now. So I might as well go for this. Um, we will do our go here. Moving up. By the way, this is the feared, um, <laughs> basically the amount of levy units I can get. If this number goes too high, my food production goes down and my happiness goes down. And my money goes down. Everything goes down. Basically, don't don't go over number here. Um, and everything that says levy here. So I can get an unlimited amount of retinue spear units, but I can only get a very limited amount of levy spear units. And so on. Um, unfortunately, okay. Oh, all my 
Swordman. How much do it cost per month? 100. All my Swordman are red to know. That's good to know. And I definitely want it for 100 per month. That's That doesn't seem too much. How much are you per month? 175. That is a lot. I mean, 100 is already a lot, considering that this unit is 40. Meaning I can get two and a half of these for one sword, and two and a half of these, I'm pretty sure, will kill one of these sword units. Like, that's not even a pretty good sword unit, it's a pretty bad sword unit. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, we're getting, still getting though. we're gonna get the levy bow. And how many more can we get? Three more, I think. If we have the monies. Just some axe. I'd say probably just some axe. Wait. This axe man costs 70? See, that? I don't think that's worth it. I don't think that's worth it. That's almost twice of him and one of these slots. How much are you? You're also 100. Uh, this one's 150. Uh, that's a pretty cheap sword unit. Um, the CX Warriors. And a pretty cheap retinue unit. I probably want to build these whenever I can. Just to get a couple of retinue units in there. And until then, I guess... We're gonna fill up with these X-Men. Yeah, let's do this. Um, I don't like the look of this. <laughs> this, this does not look trustworthy. <laughs> oh, freak, I'm consuming more food. I wasn't paying attention. Um, let's do this. Okay. And we need to increase our food production. Who's leveled up? My king? Wait. Okay, this is the governor. He's kind of just low. I want to get a priest. I always strive for four loyalty. We have a little bit of battle. This should give me one command, right? Why does my command go up? Oh no, the next one gives me one more command. I'm I'm an idiot. Okay. No. I actually like the f fact that he's close to my... This. It means I can immediately destroy his army because I get help from Tamuathiki. Um, we do need this. Not the governor. Um, sure. Well, people on two disloyal. I I greatly enjoy that. In the beginning with Sudria, everybody hated my guts. Okay, he moved back. He's still here. Um. Gonna work. We await your commands. Impossible. What the hell are you doing, man? Are you just standing in my land during winter? That makes no sense. You're gonna die, buddy. I don't even need the city now. A new rank. Okay, that's uh, West CX's problem, not mine. He recruited new units before he walked into my land, but because he's been standing in my land the whole time and not even fortifying, they never recovered. So this arm is extremely weak, and I can, without a problem, take it out with this one. And if I do that, my, uh, well, if my, if Sunehelm takes out Herrick, I think it's even King Herrick. My king, Seal Wolf, can take over Wyrus, Surte, and the Arabi. 
Seems fan to me. Let's do that. You don't. Yeah, you have no allies. I can auto resolve that, I think. Yes. My endeavors are. Yeah. I just got 